Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and in this video I'm going to give you a very quick first look at Aurora HDR 2019. So this is the new version of Aurora HDR, it's not actually out yet. So what I'm going to be showing you is still a beta and so to kind of give you an overview I'm just going to basically create a HDR image and uh, go through the process and kind of show you some of the new things. Now there's it, a lot of the changes are kind of under the hood so most of what's in the interfaces isn't actually a huge difference but uh, let me just run through the process and give you a quick first look anyway. So at the moment because of the beta it doesn't have the proper plugins in Photoshop so that's kind of a, a bit of an issue but there's a quick way around it and it's quite simply to just drag the images from, from Lightroom I mean uh, down onto the icon in the dock. So once I do this, it will fire up the application. So when I do this, it's going to send raw files rather than pre-processing them in Lightroom, which I actually prefer to do because I think Lightroom has better chromatic aberration correction and lens distortion correction. Um, but we'll just do this this way for the moment. Anyway, so uh, this gives me the options here and I want to turn on my alignment options and go in here. I want to turn on ghost reduction and chromatic aberration reduction. So again, I'm going to hit create HDR. So this will go through the process. So it is using a new uh, engine behind the scenes, which they claim uh, gives you better HDR with less fringing. And in my experience, that is definitely the case. It is certainly cleaner anyway, um, as you will see now shortly. Okay, so this is our merged HDR. And they say that they're using AI to um, as part of the merging process and uh, I don't exactly know what that means, but um, what you're seeing here is fairly flat because I haven't done any tweaking to it. But you will notice if I zoom in, uh, it is very clean and that is with ghost detection. Um, it's much better in my opinion than previous versions. Like for example, this guy was walking, there's no kind of blurring in any of the leaves. And in previous versions you would sometimes, because the leaves were blowing quite a bit, you would probably get some of that. So the first thing I want to do is just kind of tweak this. So. I will just go through some of the options here. So I want to bring the highlights down a bit, bring up the shadows, kind of increase the contrast. And if we go down here to the HDR Enhanced, this is a new feature here, HDR Smart Structure. So if I bring this up, this kind of gives you the HDR look. Um, it's, it's still fairly like a normal image. It's not like your typical kind of stereotype HDR that everybody kind of hates. Um, if you bring in the HDR clarity bit, you get a bit of that as well. Um, and then we have microstructure too. So again, these tools are slightly different than in previous versions and the HDR smart structure wasn't there before. It's a new, it's kind of a new option. Um, again, let me just, I'm going to tweak this a bit more. I probably need to bring up the exposure slightly. Okay, so straight away that's looking much better. I'm just going to turn off my presets to give you a better view. So here's before and here's after. So again, if we go down, uh, we have some of the same tools as before. So we have radiance and again, details boost. If you want to bring up lots of detail in your image and adjustable gradients, glow curves and so on. So basically most of those tools are the same. One of the new tools, however, is uh, LUT mapping. So this allows you to apply a LUT to your HDR. So it's kind of similar to what is in uh, Luminar. So again, here's some I've loaded earlier. So this is one of my own from uh, my film Lux LUTs. Sorry, not film, my film candy LUTs. Um, so again, if I turn this off, so there's before and there's after. And again, you can control the amount of it. So this is quite a nice way of giving your image a look uh, in within Aurora without having to send it to another application. Uh, and then polarizing filter. Uh, one of the other things that they've claimed is that the engine creates a much cleaner image and that is certainly the case. So if you look at here, I'm zoomed into one to one here and there is very little noise in this whereas in previous um, previous versions of Aurora, there's always be some degree of noise in the shadow areas in particular and you'd have to kind of clean it up with the HDRD noise, um, which still works quite well. So if you have kind of higher uh, ISO images, this will clean them up quite nicely. Um, but you don't need to do that anymore to the same extent that definitely produces much cleaner images and it's visibly noticeable in my experience with trying out with the beta. So that's pretty much it. That's just a very, very quick overview. This wasn't intended to be a review or anything like that. 
and uh, I will do a full review on my website um, once the final version is out, but the, for now this is just kind of a, a quick first look at um, the new version of Aurora. So I hope you found this useful. If you do, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up, and uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.